Hi everyone, welcome to the discussion. In this session, we are going to discuss about BGP attributes. This is our second video regarding BGP. In our previous video, we have discussed about uh, what is BGP, its functions and advantages, um, BGP message types and states involved in BGP in detail. So I have given the uh, link in the below description for better understanding. Uh, in this video, uh, we, along with the example, let's discuss about uh, the attributes like weight, local preference, AS path, med, origin code, next hop, etc. Uh, attribute uh, is a piece of information that's attached in the BGP update message by the BGP router to choose the best path. And the interior gateway protocols like EAGRP, OSPF, RIP, all will choose the best path based on the metrics. Say for example, uh, the EAGRP will use the metrics like bandwidth, delay, load, MTU and reliability as, uh, as its metrics to find the best path. If you take OSPF, uh, it will uh, consider the bandwidth as like 10 to the power of 8 divided by bandwidth. Uh, you will use this matrix to get the best path and uh, RIP will use uh, hop count as its uh, matrix to find the best path. However, in BGP, instead of using metrics, it will make use of attributes to select the best path. Okay. There are four categories of attributes available in BGP. One is well-known mandatory, well-known discretionary, optional transitive, and optional non-transitive. Uh, well-known mandatory is a kind of attribute which must be recognized by all the BGP router. It presents in all BGP updates and passed to other BGP routers. Uh, the examples for uh, well-known mandatory attributes are AS path, origin and next hop. Well-known discretionary uh, is a kind of attribute which is recognized by all BGP routers and it's passed to other BGP routers also, but it is not uh, available in all update message. Optional transitive uh, is a kind of uh, attribute which might or uh, might not be recognized by the BGP router, but it is passed to other router, other routers. And optional non-transitive is also a might or might not be recognized BGP router, and it is not passed to other routers also. So let's discuss this six attributes in detail with example. So first attribute is a weight. Weight is a Cisco proprietary attribute and it's a value uh, ranges from 0 to 65,535. That will be assigned to the prefix in the local router. Uh, mostly weight is not exchanged between the BGP router. The path with the highest weight will be preferred. Say for example, uh, the router one has two different paths. One is through uh, router two that's in uh, AS2000 and the other one uh, other other uh, path is through the AS4000. Uh, if if you are specifying the weight to this link to this neighbor as thousand, which is more than uh, this path, then this path will be preferred because it has highest weight comparing to the this path. So a path with the highest weight will be considered. This is one of the attribute used in the uh, BGP. And next is the local preference. This attribute is used within the autonomous system. As it is used within autonomous system, this local preference is exchanged between the internal BGP routers within the AS. Okay. Uh, it is used to identify or it's used to select uh, the outbound external BGP path. I mean to say, uh, this local preference attribute is used to select uh, or to identify which through which router a uh, traffic from one particular AS should exit from exit uh, to the other. So basically the path with the highest local preference is preferred. The default local preference value is 100. So for example, uh, in this uh, scenario, we have a three routers in one AS that is autonomous system 1000. So uh, as, as discussed earlier, this local preference value will be exchanged between the routers in the autonomous system. So this value will not be exchanged with the other uh, other uh, routers, uh, sorry, the routers in the other autonomous system. Instead, this value will be exchanged between the routers in the same autonomous system. So uh, 
say for example this router has the local preference value of 800 and this guy has the local preference value of 300 so those information will be shared among themselves and this uh, other routers will come to know that this is the exit router I mean to say all the traffic will be can be exit from this autonomous system thousand from using this router a3 because it has the highest local preference value this is how local preference attribute works so, next is as path it's a uh, well-known mandatory attribute it helps to reach the destination using the shortest path and uh, it helps in loop prevention inside the bgp and we have discussed about this uh, much detail in our previous video so a bgp prefers the shortest as path to reach the destination and also we can manipulate this using as path prepending uh, for example in the above uh, in this particular as1 has three router and if i want to make sure all the traffic should exit with router r2 then i want to make sure that r3 i want to prepend the as path multiple times in the router r3 so that uh, as per this attribute the shortest as path is chosen so uh, as1 want to make sure the traffic goes out the autonomous system through router 2 we can add our own autonomous system number multiple times so the path becomes longer since bgp prefers the shortest as path we can influence our routing this is called as path prepending and this is mid multi exist discriminator this mid is exchanged between autonomous system to uh, th this is advertised to our neighbors to make them understand how they should enter into our autonomous system and the lowest mid value is preferred a path with the lowest mid value is preferred and the mid is propagated to all router within the neighbor autonomous system but not passed along any other autonomous systems say for example uh, in this scenario we have a two autonomous system one is uh, as 100 and 200 as i said this is for only for written traffic and it's not for, for forwarding traffic so once uh, a traffic uh, from uh, as 100 reaches as 200 when the response or the written traffic reach, uh, coming from as 200 to 100 now it has two possibility from to as uh, to reach as 100 right either it can uh, go via as3 uh, sorry uh, router 3 in as100 or it can reach via router 2 in the as100 so uh, this med will be advertised to the neighbor to understand how they should enter to the enter to our as in the above example uh, the router 3 has the med value of 500 but this link has the med value of 200 so router 2 will reach router 100 uh, or, or response will send the return traffic through router 2 only because it has the least or the lowest med value comparing to the router 3 so this is how med is used i'm sorry the next one is origin code the origin code uh, is a well-known mandatory attribute that defines the origin of the prefix or the route information there are three codes listed to identify the origin of the route they are i e and question mark if it is i routes these routes are uh, originated from the igp protocol like uh, rip ospf and eagrp etc and uh, if it's an e routes then it is a route which is originated from the external gateway or protocol nothing nothing but bgp so mostly a uh, route which is learned from a uh, different autonomous system will be mentioned as e and if it's mentioned as a question mark these routes are the routes which are redistributed from a static or igp into bgp okay and the next one is a next hop attribute the bgp next hop attribute is the next ip address that's going to be used to reach certain destination uh, for ex for an uh, e EGP, the next hop is always the IP address of the neighbor that's specified in the neighbor command uh, in order for, uh, when we are forming the neighborship. For the IGP, the protocol that uh, the next hop advertised by the EBGP should be carried into IBG. For example, we have two different autonomous systems. One is AS200 and AS100. And we are running a BGP, EBGP between router 2 and router 3 and we are running ibgp 
between router 1 and router 2. In this uh, scenario, if router 3 is advertising a network 172.10.0.0 to router 2 through BGP, uh, then router 2 will learn the network and according to router 2, in order to reach 172.10.0.0 network, the next hop is 172.16.0.2. Right, and it's not uh, as like uh, it's a directly connected network because uh, the it's learned through the BGP neighborship command. So, as per the BGP neighborship command, the next hop uh, next hop is this IP address. So, R2 will make sure in order to reach the network 172.10.0.0, it will reach to the next hop IP address 172.16.0.2. As like the same, once R2 learnt the network 172.10.0.0, it will advise the same network to R1 through the IGP protocol, right? So now when R1 will learn, when R1 learns the 172.10.0.0 network, it will not have the next hop as like 150.10.0.0, sorry, 150.10.0.2 as its next hop, uh, as like uh, directly connected or something, some other routing protocol. Because as per this attribute, okay, the next hop attribute uh, is the next IP address that's going to be used to reach the certain destination, right? So when R1 learn the network 172.10.0.0, it will have the next hub IP address as like 172.16.0.2. So, so R2 will make sure if it want to reach the network 172.10.0.0, the next hop is 172.16.0.2. So this is how next hop attributes work.